Hello and welcome back to my channel, or if you're here for the very first time, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. My name's Hannah and on this channel, I post a lot of content about multi-level marketing companies, specifically the dangers behind them, the reasons you should not get involved with them. We spend a lot of time showing examples of different things that people in MLMs will post and then we'll have discussions about how they're manipulative or exploitative or kind of debunking the message that is being sent and ultimately cautioning people against getting involved with this kind of business model. So with that being said, if you like this content, I would love if you would consider sticking around and subscribing. I will also link a playlist here. This is my big anti MLM playlist. All the videos I've ever created on that topic can be found there. We're well over 150 videos now. I think we are creeping up on 160 at this point and I add new videos to it every single week. Today's video is a bit unique in the sense that it's a very narrow topic, but there's still a lot to talk about that it deserves its own video. Initially, this was brought to my attention by somebody who sent me an email about this situation and they included a couple screenshots of an Instagram post Post, and I was initially considering putting it in an MLM top fails video. That's like a compilation style video where I show you multiple different things for multiple different people. We spend a few minutes on each of those photos or clips or videos, and then we move on to the next thing and it covers a variety of topics. But the more I dug into it, the more layers I found to this situation. And the more I realized that this kind of needs its own time in the spotlight, its own video, much like what happened a couple weeks ago with the dashing diva drama, that whole situation, same thing there. Like it was brought to my attention. There was just so much content there that it didn't feel right to try and force it into an MLM top fails and therefore condense it down really far. There's a lot to unpack here. So it's getting its very own video. And what I'm talking about, I haven't even said it yet, <laughs> is that there are two reality stars from the TLC show Sister Wives who have joined the multi-level marketing company Plexus and are effectively exploiting their fame and following to recruit them into the MLM company to therefore further themselves in the pyramid. If you just stumbled upon this video on YouTube and you have no idea how you got here and you have no idea what an MLM is, basically it's a business model that favors the recruitment of others more than it favors selling an actual product. So Plexus, for example, is an MLM company that sells health and wellness supplements. They sell pills and powders and shake mixes and like all the classic stuff that you would see from a health and wellness company. They focus very heavily on the narrative of improving your gut health and balancing out your microbiome and things like that. That. And with that, they claim that the byproducts are weight loss and mental clarity, more energy, better sleep, all the good things that everybody wants. But at the end of the day, they're just supplements. They're not regulated by any agency. There's no studies done out there to prove that the claims they're making about the products are actually true. But regardless of the product itself, people tend to get involved with multi-level marketing companies because they can earn a commission from selling that product to their family and friends or strangers on the internet or whoever they come across basically. But there's also also additional ways to make money in these business models, and that is by recruiting or building a downline, also known as a team of people that are all underneath you, building out this kind of pyramid family tree-like structure. And a lot of MLM company compensation plans will outline that you get a commission off of the sale that those people make. You might even get a bonus just for recruiting that person. You need to have a certain number of people underneath you on your team if you want to advance in the ranks of the compensation plan and therefore hit those upper levels of earning potential and there are certain bonuses that get paid out to the people at the top. So the biggest component of MLM companies, and I would argue the biggest issue with them, is the fact that recruitment is rewarded more than selling the product is. You are incentivized much harder to recruit others and build a team because that's gonna unlock more earning potential for you. But mathematically, not everybody can have these large enough teams to make good money in these business schemes. So those that recruit the most people and build the biggest teams, that correlates directly to being towards towards the top of the pyramid and making the most money. And the issue is that not everybody who joins an MLM is going to be able to recruit a volume of people large enough to get themselves towards the top of the pyramid. For example, if I recruit five friends who recruit five friends who recruit five friends, I believe it's 13 cycles of that before we exceed the world's population. <laughs> Clearly it's not sustainable. Not everybody can be at the top. I went into that explanation thinking I could sum it up in like one or two sentences and I failed miserably, but that that's what an MLM is and that's how it operates. If you're a regular viewer of my channel, you know this, this is nothing new to you. But it's also really important background that we need for this video to understand why these reality stars joining an MLM is so problematic and exploitative. So now that we've covered the background knowledge of MLMs, let me give you some background knowledge on who the heck these people are if you have no idea who I'm talking about. Let's start from the very beginning. TLC is a TV network in the United States that airs programs focusing really 
heavily on personal stories. For example, there's a series called Say Yes to the Dress and it follows all these brides finding their dream wedding dress. There's a series called 19 Kids and Counting. It follows a family with 19 children. There's a series called Toddlers and Tiaras all about the culture of children who get involved with beauty pageants. So you're kind of getting the theme of the network here, right? TLC generally features entire TV shows about one very specific circumstance or lifestyle that is really interesting and compelling for the viewer to watch. I am a sucker for TLC shows. Completely outing myself here. I love me some dramatic reality TV with a crazy premise. Sign me up. I am all over it. One of the shows that the network airs is called Sister Wives. And according to TLC, the description of this show is that with four wives and 18 children, the Brown household has more than their fair share of family drama. Cody Brown and his wives share an intimate glimpse into both the challenges and the joys at the heart of this unconventional family structure. So this is a TV show about one man named Cody Brown who has four wives, Mary, Christine, Janelle, and Robin, and they, along with all of their children, live within a very close proximity to one another. They used to live all under one roof in Utah. At some point, they moved to have a whole bunch of houses on a cul-de-sac in Las Vegas, and most currently, now they live on a property called Coyote Pass in Flagstaff, Arizona. There actually have been some divorces and some separations between the wives, and not everyone is currently living together anymore. And we'll touch on that a little bit later, but that's the premise of the show here. Another important piece to this story is that the family belongs to the Apostolic United Brethren, which is a sect of the Fundamentalist Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, or the Mormon religion that allows followers to practice polygamy. So while polygamy is not a common practice in today's culture, and certainly not within the United States, it is permitted within their religion. So that's obviously one of the big appeals of the show. It's not every day that you get to peek into the life of one man with four wives and 18 kids, and it's a situation that makes for really good reality TV. People want to know how this whole situation works and what their lives look like. The show has been so popular, in fact, that it's been on the air since 2010. There's a total of 73 episodes over the course of 17 seasons so far. And all of this is relevant to the context of this video because it speaks to their fame and the fact that they are well-known public figures, reality stars, celebrities, whatever you want to call them, and they have massive followings. If you live in the United States, you've likely at least heard heard of Sister Wives or the Brown family or that Mormon guy with four wives on TV, there's a good chance that you've caught an episode here and there over the course of the past 12 years. And this family could be considered to be reality TV or pop culture icons in a sense. Like I said, I love me a good TLC show, but I never really got into Sister Wives specifically. I've seen a few episodes here and there, but not since I was probably in high school living at home and it would just come up every so often on cable. God, that was like six, seven years years ago at this point. I really haven't caught up with them since then. But the point being that these people have been on TV for over a decade and they're pretty recognizable. For example, when I open up my inbox looking for MLM content for an upcoming video and someone sends me a screenshot, I was able to go, hey, I recognize her. Isn't she from the TV show Sister Wives that I saw seven years ago? So all of that to say, they do have some level of fame surrounding them. Just hold on to that for now. We're going to get into a much deeper discussion about their fame later on. But here is where the story gets interesting, and here's why I'm covering it. Because as you already know, my content covers the multi-level marketing business model, and the fact that it's scammy, it's culty, it's harmful, and it should ultimately be avoided at all costs. And the connection here is that two out of these four sister wives are also in the MLM company Plexus. The two wives that we're talking about here are Christine and Janelle. And it's important to note that neither of these women are actually with Cody as of recently. Christine announced that she was divorcing Cody in November of 2021. Janelle is not officially divorced, but she is separated from Cody as of the 17th season of the show, which just aired in the fall of 2022. So while these two women aren't with Cody anymore, they're still on the show. They're still appearing in the most recent season that just aired a couple months ago, which as we're about to see means that there is some overlap in the timeline between when they got involved with Plexus and the airing of their show. They are still involved with this MLM company today and they are still filming this TV show today. As I was preparing for this video, I was trying so hard to figure out how I wanted to structure it so that it would make the most sense and that the way I was presenting information was logical. And I feel like the best way to do that is just take you down the exact rabbit hole that I fell down in the exact order that I uncovered pieces of information because all that was initially sent to me was one screenshot of one Instagram post. And based on that, I was able to find so much more information. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you that original
original post and we're gonna go step by step by step down the rabbit hole. So here's what I'm gonna be calling the original post for the rest of the video, okay? This is the first thing I saw. This was posted to Janelle Brown's personal Instagram account on November 10th of 2022. This is a photo of Janelle on the right and her sister wife, Christine, on the left and they're holding up a bottle of Plexus Balance. They're kind of posing with the product, obviously promoting it. And the caption says, earn an exclusive trip with us. Yes, you heard that right. I, alongside Christine and Madison, will be helping you earn this trip. This is a Plexus trip and working with us personally is part of the deal, winky face. By the way, the product I'm holding blocks the absorption of carbs and sugar. It's a must for the holidays, just saying. So she's saying you can just pop a pill and your body won't absorb carbs or sugar. That sounds like a completely unfounded health claim, but I digress. For more info, visit my profile, click the link tree and click the second option. Fill out the survey and I'll message you back. We hope to see you there. But this post has two photos to it. So if you slide over to the second photo, it says join our team and win, offering a three day, two night exclusive retreat and vacation with us. Off to the right, it lists the people who are hosting the vacation and it gives a photo of them below. And already upon seeing this photo for the first time, I'm horrified. I recognize Janelle from the show. I saw her on Sister Wives years and years ago, and here she is in 2022 promoting Plexus on her own personal Instagram page. This one screenshot left me with so many questions. So first off, I was like, okay, this looks like Janelle from Sister Wives. I type in her username and boom, this is really her. This post is coming from her verified Instagram account with nearly a million followers. And sure enough, as soon as I start scrolling through her Instagram account, she's got several posts of her promoting Plexus products. So at this point, I'm like, all right, we've got an issue here. We've got a reality TV star pitching a pyramid scheme to her nearly 1 million followers. When did she join Plexus? That's my next question. With some digging, I found that her first ever post about Plexus was on April 5th and her caption says, I'm pretty sure I didn't think I'd ever be making a post like this, but here I am. Maybe everyone says that. Plexus, the pink drink. This is like a powder that you mix with water and it turns the water pink, kind of like crystal light. And Plexus Huns love to say that this cures everything under the sun, okay? Drink the pink drink, your life is gonna change, you'll become invincible, you'll be so healthy that you're gonna live forever and be immortal, basically. Maddie started using it about five months ago and I watched. When I saw the huge impact it had on her, Caleb's, and especially my grandbaby's digestion and gut, I thought, well, maybe it wouldn't hurt to try it. I now won't go a day without it. It has completely revolutionized my relationship with sugar. I haven't been free of that addiction since I was very young. It has helped with my sleep and I lost a couple of inches off my gut without changing anything. This is not a weight loss product. It is mainly about gut health. It's a product you add into your routine. Here's a coupon code. Message me if you want more info, yada, yada, yada. We get the point. And this strikes me very clearly like an MLM announcement post. Like here I am, here's this new thing I'm starting. Expect lots of more posts from me on this topic because this is my new obsession. And my goal is to sell it to you and make money. So you're gonna hear a lot about it. And something that struck me about this post was when she mentions Maddie in the caption. And I was like, yeah, Maddie, Madison. She was mentioned in the original post, who is Maddie? It turns out that Maddie is Janelle's daughter. And as we can see here, she's kind of the person to be credited with introducing her mom to the pink drink and therefore to Plexus overall. Maddie has over half a million followers. She also appears on the Sister Wives reality TV show. And she herself can be considered to be somewhat of a reality TV star as well. Maddie appears to have been promoting Plexus since January 5th of 2021, where she also made a very similar MLM announcement post where she says that her kid got a stomach bug and his stomach was never the same. Their doctor recommended that he try pre and probiotics. Maddie then went and told a friend, hey, my kid's not feeling well. His doctor recommended this. We're gonna have to try out some new things. And the friend pitched Maddie Plexus. The friend said, I have the solution for you. I have the gut health products that your kid needs. So here's what I've gathered so far is that Maddie was in search of gut health products per the recommendation of her doctor. Maddie's friend learned about this, pitched and sold her Plexus for her own financial gain. Maddie and her family start taking Plexus and eventually starts pitching it and selling it to her mom, Janelle. I'm inferring by this chain of events that Maddie likely recruited her mom, Janelle, and that she signed up under Maddie and therefore Maddie is now her upline. Okay, so at this point we've confirmed that Janelle and Maddie are in Plexus together, but in that original post that I saw, they also mentioned Christine. So I go back to the original post. I click on Christine's tagged username and sure enough, Christine Brown, one of the sister wives, this is her official account, 1 million followers, and she's been actively posting 
posting about Plexus since September of 2021. And she herself makes an MLM announcement style post that says, watching from the sidelines doesn't give you energy. Watching from the sidelines doesn't bring back your focus nor mental clarity. Watching from the sidelines doesn't make the sugar cravings go away nor the stomach pains disappear. I had been watching Janelle from the sidelines. I was so impressed with her focus, energy, drive, among other things during her move. I had to see for myself what this was all about. I was ready to stop watching from the sidelines and jump in. I was ready to feel my very best and Janelle and Maddie were proof enough for me. If we skip down a little bit, it says, all I can say is I'm so thankful for these products. If you're interested in learning more, message me. So now we have Christine in the mix, a third person from the Sister Wives franchise selling Plexus. I'm assuming that she likely signed up under Janelle. So now she's got Janelle above her and Maddie above the both of them. But regardless, what we have now is a trio of reality stars all on the same team together, pitching and promoting Plexus to their massive followings. And in this caption, here's where I'm noticing she's tagging an account called Life with Health and Happiness. So I'm like, okay, what is this? Down the rabbit hole even further. So I click on it and this is a separate Instagram account dedicated completely to these women's Plexus businesses. It's got 110,000 followers and every single post is about the promotion of Plexus. I also stumbled upon a second separate Instagram account called The Secret to Self Care, which appears to be essentially the exact same thing. 131,000 followers, only Plexus posts here. And this account posts pretty much the exact same things as the other account does. They even have the exact same information in their bio. And something I noticed happening from looking at all these accounts is that oftentimes one of these three women will make a post and then the other two women will take that content and they'll repost it either on their personal accounts or on these separate dedicated Plexus accounts. Additionally, a lot of their Plexus posts include one another. It's really hard to tell who is running each of these separate accounts because there's so much overlap. I don't even know why there's two accounts because they just post the same things to both of them. It's very confusing. But the sense that I'm getting from all of this is that these three women are really tightly knit together and they use each other and their associations with one another and the fact that they're all on the cast of Sister Wives together as a way to kind of tackle their Plexus promotions as a united front. Because remember in the MLM business model, everybody is stacked on top of one another and everyone is benefiting financially off one another and you need your team members below you to perform well if you are going to perform well. I very much get the sense that they are all working together here and this is a very mutually beneficial setup for all of them because they're able to use their fame and followings to make sales and to gain recruits and to ultimately benefit all of them. Okay, a recap so far. Are you still with me? Did you click off the video yet? <laughs> we've got sister wives, Janelle and Christine, and we've got Janelle's daughter, Maddie, all on a team together selling Plexus. That's what we know. Again, going back to the original post I saw on the second picture. Now I have questions about who Molly Hopkins and Cynthia Decker are because they're mentioned too. And it's at this point that I'm starting to look at this picture and I'm noticing the woman with the black hair and I'm like, Molly, Molly, why does she look so familiar? And then it clicks. Molly Hopkins was on a different TLC reality show called 90 Day Fiance. This is where people within the United States are engaged to people who live outside the United States and their fiancés are coming to live with them in the US for 90 days to figure out if they're actually gonna get married or not. And as I mentioned earlier, I love me some TLC. So I recognized Molly as being from season five of 90 Day Fiance. So now we have a fourth TLC reality star in the mix of all of this, but wait, there's more. <laughs> what about Cynthia Decker, right? She is also a reality TV star from the show Double Divas, which she co-hosted with Molly. This was not a TLC show, actually. This was aired on the Lifetime Network, and it's about Cynthia and Molly being best friends, and they own a lingerie boutique together. That's what that reality show was about. Additionally, did you think we're done? Because we're not. There's another layer. More recently, Molly and Cynthia have appeared on another TLC show together called Pillow Talk. This Pillow Talk show is like a spinoff of a spin off. Just hang with me, okay? This is so ridiculous. There's so many layers here. Molly appeared on 90 Day Fiance. There was a spin-off of that show called 90 Day Fiance Happily Ever After, where they check in with the stars from the first series. Molly was also on this show, Happily Ever After. Then there's a third spin-off called Pillow Talk Happily Ever After, <laughs> where the stars from 90 Day Fiance watch their episodes as they're airing and they kind of comment on it. And the vibe is supposed to be like, come into my house. I have my friend here. We're going to watch the episode together and react to it. That's what Pillow Talk is all about.
about. If you're utterly confused, I don't blame you. It's very confusing. My head is spinning. The point is that Cynthia appeared on Pillow Talk with Molly on TLC. So now we have five TLC reality stars all in plexus together. And I have to bring up the Pillow Talk show because recently Molly has lost a significant amount of weight and she is now attributing that weight loss to plexus and using it as a point of promotion. Here's a very recent Instagram post from Molly that says, when you're scrolling on Discovery Plus and see an old Pillow Talk promo pic staring you in the face, this is why I share. I thought that I would never be able to curb my cravings or emotional eating, but I have conquered those. A little pink drink, swipe to see, has changed the game. It works from the inside out. Ready to start your healing journey? Message me on Pillow Talk Princesses underscore Plexus or fill out the wellness survey in bio. So she's now using promo photos from her appearances on TLC to promote how much weight she's lost thanks to Plexus. And her fans are not happy. Here's some of the comments that were left on this post. Don't get me wrong, you look beautiful. And if you want to use Plexus products, then that's awesome. I've heard of them, but that girl boss crap is so annoying and we don't want to drink the Kool-Aid. Good luck recruiting people to join the cult. This one says, I'll never understand giving credit for all your hard work to a drink, but I've never been paid to do it either. Oh, Molly, you joined a damn pyramid scheme. I know you're from the South, but come on. You are a respected business owner. You don't need to do that crap. What's next? Sensi LuLaRoe? Oh, Molly, Molly, this is an MLM company. Bad news. I learned my lesson a long time ago. It's not about the products. It's about making money. So at least there appears to be some awareness from her audience that like, dude, don't do this. You don't need to do this. You're a reality star. You have your own boutique, your own legitimate small business. Like, what are you doing? Why do you need this? At this point, my head is just spinning. Now we have five reality TV stars that are all somehow intertwined with one another and they're all in plexus together. Now that we know who all the characters are, here's where we talk about all the issues with this, okay? It's time to go back and break down the original post itself because we haven't even gotten to the most problematic part yet. Do you see why this needed its own video? So many moving parts. I'm four pages deep in my notes and we haven't even gotten to the biggest issue yet. Here's the original post. Two sister wives promoting that they have an exclusive trip that they're offering. They say things like, we're gonna be helping you earn this trip. It's a plexus trip. You work with us personally. Join our team and win. We're offering a three day, two night exclusive retreat and vacation with us. And how this comes across to me is they are promoting themselves as individuals and they are using their fame to further themselves in their MLM business opportunity. They are literally saying, join our Plexus team and you can have access to us. If you let us recruit you and if you become part of our downline, you can go on a three night, two day vacation with us. These people are reality TV stars. They have gigantic followings. We're talking hundreds of thousands of people that follow them on social media. And here it is, this post being blasted it out to all of them saying, if you join our Plexus team, you get to hang out with us. And honestly, I'm unclear on what this trip even is. The caption says that it's a Plexus trip, but the photo says that they are offering an exclusive retreat. I don't actually know if this is a Plexus sanctioned trip that the company themselves are hosting. And it's like, if you hit certain sales and recruitment volume, then you get to go. Or if it's literally these five women banding together and offering their own personal private retreat where they're going to host their own downline members because that does actually happen. People at the top of MLM companies occasionally will actually host their own private events for their downline members as a way to kind of gather everyone together and bestow upon them the secrets to success in this company. And I'm at the top of the pyramid. And if you want to get here too, here's what you have to do. And essentially brainwash them with a bunch of crap. Okay. That's the purpose of those events. I don't know if that is what's going on here or if what they're promoting is a plexus trip that the company themselves are offering and you have the chance to earn it if you hit certain sales and recruitment requirements. I don't know what's going on here, but what I'm clearly seeing is these women abusing their social status and exploiting their fans to further themselves in a pyramid scheme. I mean, how gross is that? They clearly know what they're doing based on the wording of this post and the way that it's bolded, like win a trip with us. And then they have the list of names and a photo of them. It's just gross. It's slimy, especially when you understand how MLMs work and you know that recruitment is the way that they make the most money, they're trying to use their social power
power and their position as a reality star to manipulate their fans to sign up for their business opportunity so that they can get farther in the pyramid. How someone can feel okay with doing that is beyond me. I don't understand. It just doesn't feel right. It feels slimy. Reading this post, I feel slimy, like I need to take a shower. And at this point now, it kind of brings us into our discussion of parasocial relationships. I've talked about this concept in passing a couple other times on my channel, but this post is the most perfect example that I've seen of somebody exploiting a parasocial relationship. Put simply, a parasocial relationship is a one-sided relationship that a media user engages in with a media persona. Media users can form parasocial relationships with celebrities, live action fictional characters, social media influencers, animated characters, and any other figure they encounter through media, including movies, TV shows, podcasts, radio talk shows, or social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok. The key term here is the fact that it is a one-sided relationship, meaning that that media persona is putting themselves out there and sharing information about themselves for others to view. And now those viewers may feel like they know that media persona personally. For example, I know exactly who Janelle Brown is. I know that she was in a polygamous relationship with a guy named Cody. She has six kids. She lives in Arizona. She's in Plexus. She has dogs. I know that she decorated gingerbread houses with her family on December 4th. I know that she went ax throwing for the first time on January 21st. I know that her son recently cut his hair to donate it to charity. There is endless amounts of information out there about this person and about her personal life and her daily activities that's either been put out there by herself or has been shown to the masses on reality TV for the past 12 years. And what does Janelle Brown know about me? Absolutely nothing. Janelle Brown doesn't know that I exist. She knows nothing of my existence, nothing about my life, yet I know very specific details about hers. And this is the basis on which a parasocial relationship forms. I feel like I know Janelle, but Janelle doesn't know me. It's a very one-sided relationship. And this happens in all different circumstances with celebrities, influencers, whatever, but it takes somewhat of a dark turn when these public figures choose to join an MLM company. Because anyone can join an MLM company. All you need is enough enough money for the starter kit, give a few pieces of personal information, and boom, in a matter of minutes, you are now a part of the MLM. You don't have to be a celebrity to join that club. You don't have to be a TV reality star in order to sign up for the MLM. And let's say, for example, that I'm like a huge fan of one of these women. I've watched them on TV for over a decade. I really relate to their personalities. I know a lot about them. I follow everything they do on social media. And now they're telling me that I can meet them in person? I can go on an exclusive vacation where I get to hang out with them in real life? I get to be their friend if I just pay for the Plexus starter kit and sign up to be in their downline? Do you see how this becomes manipulative and predatory? These people have an upper hand in the MLM business model that the average person does not have. They have fame and parasocial relationships playing in their advantage. Remember that the key to success in an MLM is recruitment. Those with the biggest teams make the most money. And what better way to recruit people in mass quantities than posting on your social media with a million followers that they can have personal access to you if they let you recruit them. I can imagine that that would be really tempting for some people. There's gotta be at least a handful out of their hundreds of thousands of followers who are gonna look at this and think, huh, I'm not really sure what Plexus is. I don't know what this is all about. It's not something I've ever considered getting involved with before, but maybe I'll give it a shot because this celebrity that I look up to is promoting it and they're giving me this exclusive opportunity to meet them if I do. And as we saw with some of those comments on Molly's post about how Plexus is helping her lose weight, not everybody is in support of MLMs. Not everyone's gonna fall for it. This pitch is not gonna work on everybody, but it might work on some. And just statistically, these celebrities in Plexus who are promoting it to millions of followers are gonna have more success in recruiting people than this person over here who's just the average Joe, has a few hundred followers on Instagram, Instagram and they spend all their time cold messaging people and pitching this opportunity. If you can instantaneously pitch Plexus to a million people with one Instagram post, that person is gonna do better and they're gonna see a bigger return on that than this person over here with an average sized following. There's clearly an upper hand here. And in my opinion, these women are exploiting their fan base by pitching them a scam money-making opportunity. They are using their parasocial
social relationships to their advantage in order to make money off of those fans who decide to sign up under them. And in my opinion, that's despicable. As we kind of touched on in the beginning of the video, it is a fact that most people who join an MLM company will lose money. Not everybody is gonna make it to the top of the pyramid because not everybody can recruit massive amounts of people. What's gonna happen nine times out of 10 is they're gonna spend a bunch of their own money to join the MLM, they're gonna struggle to sell that product, and when they do, they're only gonna make a very small commission and they're gonna struggle to find others to recruit. The average person is not a reality TV star with a built-in audience of loyal fans to pitch to. The average person will never be as successful as these women have been in Plexus because they will never be able to recruit at the same volume. It's really problematic when media personas join MLM companies because again, it's a recruitment-based money-making scheme that relies on building a team of people under you in order to find success. And media personas who choose to participate in these money-making schemes often have rapid success because they can sign up a bunch of people really quickly in a way that the average person cannot do. What I see here is a group of women who saw this opportunity in front of them to make some quick cash, and they're choosing to exploit their audiences by selling them gimmicky health and wellness products, as well as recruiting them by offering them this opportunity to get close to them on this exclusive retreat. It's of my personal opinion that these particular women know exactly what they're doing. This is not just about seeing results and sharing a product I love out of the goodness of my heart. Undoubtedly, they've had to go through that thought process of like, you know what? I could be really good at this. Sure, maybe the products work, maybe I like them, but I'm gonna take it to the next level. I'm gonna join this company and I'm gonna make it my goal to recruit people because I think that would be really easy for me in a way that it's not easy for a lot of other people. They had to have thought that through, right? They know exactly what they're doing. They know they're exploiting their audience. They know they're gonna make a bunch of quick money on it and they don't care. They have no problem with it and they're doing it anyway. Extremely unethical in my opinion. And on another note, here's some Something else I started thinking about is how do you think this makes other Plexus reps feel knowing that they have literal celebrities in their company? Because unless you're on the same team, you are kind of in competition with one another. To an extent, people within the same team or within that same family tree, they all kind of benefit off of one another. But what if you're not on the same team as them? Remember that there's only so many humans on earth to recruit. <laughs> so how do they feel about these reality stars coming in here and taking such a big piece of that pie? Let's say in some alternate universe that I wanted to join Plexus, if I'm looking at my choices of whose team I want to be on, and my options are the girl I went to high school with or the team of reality TV stars, I'm going with the reality TV stars every time. Are you kidding? Even if for no other reason than to just be able to say that they're on my team. <laughs> and it kind of makes me wonder if other average Plexus reps out there find this kind of thing threatening. How do you compete with a celebrity who can make one Instagram post and share it to a million people, they can recruit tons of fans, climb in the ranks basically overnight, while you've been spending the past couple years of your life sending hey hun cold messages to strangers on social media asking if they want to join your team or buy your pills. There's just such a clear advantage here and it makes me wonder if the average Plexus reps are over here struggling as a result of that. I don't know, that's just something that I'm kind of wondering about in this whole situation. My final thoughts on all of this is that it's disgusting, it's shameful, it's exploitative, it's manipulative, it's predatory, and I hate it. <laughs> because like I said, there's no way that they don't know exactly what they're doing. And ultimately what it all boils down to is that these people, these celebrities are recruiting their fan base with the knowledge that those fans will never be as successful as they are and they will likely lose money in this scheme, but they don't care because it furthers themselves in the pyramid. They are bulking up their own teams and their own downlines and they're padding their own wallets with that. They don't care what happens to these people. They don't care if they sit in the bottom of the pyramid struggling and losing money. Doesn't matter to them, no skin off their back. They have a reality show to tend to. They've got bigger fish to fry. And this little plexus thing over here, this is just a scheme for them to make some quick cash on the side. They don't care about you or your well-being, but they're gonna promote this exclusive retreat where you can get close to them if you decide to sign up for their downline where they can make some money off of you. It's just gross. I don't feel good about this at all. And hopefully now you can see why this sort of deserves its own topic because it's not isolated
isolated to just these people. There are plenty of other celebrities out there or big influencers who join MLMs for the same exact reason, to exploit their parasocial relationships. So with that, that's all the information I have to share with you for this video and I would love to know your thoughts down below. Particularly, I'd love to know if you like sort of this mini dive expose style video where we look at one specific topic and break it down. It's hard for me to look at these things or to know about these things and not talk about it and to not expose it and show you how problematic this is. So let me know what you think. Let me know your opinions on this whole situation. If there's any other celebrities or influencers that are exploiting their following for an MLM, feel free to let me know about those in the comments. But with that, that's all I have for you for this video. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you and I'll see you in my next one real soon.